Hello and welcome to Baitu's exam prep IAS. Let's get started and look into our daily quiz. Let's look into the first question. With respect to election to the office of President of India, which of the following statements is are correct? He or she is elected by members of both the houses of the parliament and members of legislative assemblies of the state. The president's election is held in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of a single transferable vote and voting is by open ballot. Any dispute related to his or her election is taken up by Supreme Court. Supreme Court's decision is final. Which of the statements are correct? The answer to this is three only. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article on the Hindu makes a reference to the presidential elections. Let us try and understand what are these options. When we look into the first option, he or she is elected by members of both the houses of parliament and members of legislative assemblies of the state. This is a wrong statement. Why? When you look into the electoral college, who are the members who elect? It includes elected members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, legislative assemblies of the state, legislative councils have no role to play and legislative assemblies of union territories of Delhi and Puducherry. So remember, it is the elected members and not all members of parliament, which means the nominated members have no role to play in it. You have nominated members in Rajya Sabha who are not included in the electoral college. So it is only the elected members of the parliament who become part of the electoral college and as a result the first statement is wrong when we look into the second statement the president's election is held in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of a single transferable vote and the voting is by open ballot this is wrong why because such a voting happens in a secret ballot so the second statement is wrong when we look into the third statement any dispute related to his or her election is taken up by the supreme court and the supreme court decision is final this is the right statement. So because the first and the second statement is wrong, the third statement is right. The answer to this would be three only. Now let's look into the next practice question. Which of the following dams or power projects is are constructed or proposed to be constructed or river Chenab? Dual Hasti hydroelectric plant, Kiru hydroelectric power project, Pakuldul dam, Salal dam, Uri dam. The answer to this is one, two, three and four only. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article on the Hindu makes a reference to the Kiru hydroelectric power project. So if you look into the options, what do we have? We have the dual Hasti hydroelectric plant. Yes, it is on the Chenab river. Kiru hydroelectric power project is on the Chenab river. Pakuldul dam is on Chenab river. Salal dam is on Chenab river. But when it comes to Uri dam, this is not on Chenab river, but instead it is on J since it is being constructed on Jalem, the answer to this would be 1, 2, 3 and 4. And as part of the assignment, please put on the comment section which are the other projects that are taken up on the Chenab River and which are the projects that are taken up on the Jalem River. Please put them on the comment section. So the Kiro Hydroelectric Power Project is a run of the river scheme developed over the Chenab River in the Kistawar Tehsil. Doha district in Jammu and Kashmir. The run of the river project is being implemented by the Chenab Valley Power Projects Limited, a joint venture of the National Hydro Power Company and the Jammu and Kashmir State Power Development Corporation. These are some of the facts which you have to know with respect to the Kiru Hydroelectric Power Project. Now let's look into the next practice question. Which of the following island countries are in the Pacific Ocean? Comoros, Fiji, Kiribati, Solomon Islands, Tonga. The answer to this is 2, 3, 4 and 5 only. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article here makes a reference to the Solomon Islands. So which are the island countries which are part of the Pacific Ocean? We have Fiji, Kiribati, Solomon Islands and Tonga. And when it comes to Comoros, it is not in Pacific Ocean, but instead it is in Indian Ocean. Since it is in Indian Ocean, the answer to this would be 2, 3, 4 and 5 only. What is it about the Solomon Islands as mentioned under this article? Recently, 
there was a law and order problem riot issue that took place in solomon islands why that is because solomon islands got its independence from britain in 1978 after 1978 and subsequently in number of years it was receiving a lot of favors from taiwan but of late what is happening there is also a lot of money that is being pumped from china remember china is seen as a separate entity taiwan is seen as a separate entity but china and taiwan together have been rivals in the south pacific for decades china and taiwan have been engaged in the diplomatic tug of war in all these developing countries they have been able to provide economic support they have been able to provide all the economic advantages to these countries as well why because all these countries should be recognizing taiwan all these countries should be recognizing china and they should not be recognizing taiwan according to china so there is a diplomatic tug of war between china and taiwan and these countries have to recognize taiwan or not is the basic fundamental question of late in the year 2019 what we had is elections in solomon islands and we had a new prime minister in the form of sogaver sogaver happened to recognize china this is where the entire issue started there is one of the prominent islands in solomon islands called as malaita malaita is one of the primary islands previously lot number of economic support was given by taiwan to malaita which happens to be one of the prominent islands in solomon islands but the problem this time is the prime minister recognized china he also wanted to get economic support from china and as a result there was clash between china and taiwan in solomon islands the malaita happens to recognize taiwan why because they got lot of economic support from taiwan but the new prime minister recognized china because he wanted support from china so this led to a friction this led to ethnic clash this led to a lot of hue and cry in this particular part so this article says the solomon islands has signed a policing deal with china and will send a proposal for a broader security agreement covering the military to its cabinet for consideration another important part from this article is about australia australia and solomon signed their first bilateral security treaty back in the year 2017 according to it australia will provide some of the police troops and associated civilians the protection in case of a security challenge so australia has historically provided security support to the solomon islands as per the bilateral security treaty which was signed back in the year 2017 now let's look into the map to understand where is the solomon islands the solomon islands is in this part so remember there are number of islands in the pacific ocean where some of the important one include kiribati then you also have fiji and many other islands so please look into it now let's look into the next practice question consider the following statements with respect to appointment of high court judges the judges of a high court are appointed by the governor a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the governor can be appointed as a high court judge which of the statements are correct the answer to this is none why have we taken this practice question because this article on the hindu makes a reference to nine judges appointed to five high courts why are both the statements wrong that is because when you look into the first statement the judges of the high court are appointed not by the governor but instead it is by the president so the first statement is wrong when you look into the second statement a distinguished jurist in the opinion of the governor can be appointed as a high court judge this statement is one second wrong why there are two issues here one the distinguished jurist is to be in the opinion of the president that's the first part and there is no jurist recommendation when it comes to the high court what do we mean by it when it comes to the supreme court of india you can appoint a jurist as a judge of the supreme court if according to the opinion of the president that jurist has a lot of knowledge when it comes to law but such a provision is not available for the high court judge so the two parameters are one it is to do with the opinion of the president and it is not available for the high court judge but instead it is only available for the supreme court judge these are the two parameters which have gone wrong as a result both the options given here are wrong and ends the answer to this would be none now let's look into the next practice question which amongst the following is regarded as the mother of all garanas as it is considered to be the oldest we have golia garana 
Dili Garana, Agra Garana, Patiala Garana. The answer to this is Gwalia Garana. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article on the Hindu makes a reference to the Dili Garana. So which is considered to be the mother of all Garanas? Because it is considered as the oldest, it happens to be the Gwalior Garana. So what is a Garana? Garana is a word which is derived from Gar. What do we understand by Gar? Gar basically means house. So basically it is a style of music which is transmitted from one generation to another as a property of the family. Initially, it was more inclined towards the family members, but over a period of time, it is also being transferred from one generation to another. So, Garana basically means it is a specific style of singing. It has its own mark characteristics and these characteristics are mostly in reference to that particular style of singing in the Hindustani classic. Now, let's look into the next practice question. Chamaya Vilakku ritual is a practice in the state of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh. The answer to this is Kerala. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article makes a reference to Chamaya Vilakku ritual. What is this ritual all about? This happens to be a unique festival which is practiced in the state of Kerala. This is held at Kottan Kulangara Sri Devi Temple, Chavara near Kollam, where thousands of men, irrespective of the religious faith, dress up as women, offer their prayers to Goddess Bhagavati, the deity of the temple, which is believed to be a Swayambhu. So basically, irrespective of the religion, the caste, race, everything, men dress up as women. They take the Chayam Vilaku, which happens to be a traditional lamp, walk around the temple as a symbol of devotion and ultimately want their wishes get fulfilled. So remember, this is a ritual which is practiced in the state of Kerala and this happens to take place in Chavara Kotangula Devi Temple in Kollam of Kerala. Now let's look into the next practice question. The Chori Chora incident took place in which amongst the following districts in the United Provinces, the present day Uttar Pradesh? Benares, Gorakhpur, Jansi, Raibareli. The answer to this is Gorakhpur. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article on the Hindu makes a mention of Chori Chora massacre. So this took place in Gorakhpur and where is it? It is in the state of Uttar Pradesh and what was the major event related to Chori Chora incident? The withdrawal of non-cooperation movement in February 1922. Now let's look into the next practice question. With reference to India, consider the following statements. Retail investors through DMAT account can invest in treasury bills and government of India debt bonds in primary market. The negotiated dealing system order matching is a government securities trading platform of the Reserve Bank of India. The Central Depository Services Limited is jointly promoted by the Reserve Bank of India and the Bombay Stock Exchange. Which of the statements given above is are correct? The answer to this is 1 and 2 only. This happens to be a previous year question from the year 2021. Why is the third statement wrong? That is because the Reserve Bank of India is is not the promoter of Central Depository Service Limited. So basically, the CDSL was promoted by the BSC Limited jointly with the leading banks such as the State Bank of India, Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, HDFC Bank, so on and so forth. And RBI is not the promoter of Central Depository Services Limited. The third statement is wrong. The first and the second statement is right. So the answer to this would be one and two only. Now let's look into the fact of the day. The fact of the day for today's discussion is black boxes. What are these black boxes? Imagine a situation where the aircraft is lost all of a sudden or the aircraft falls in a particular place. We have to investigate what is the root cause that the aircraft fell down. Why was the aircraft lost all of a sudden? So in order to investigate, what we require is a tool as to what was happening within the aircraft. And one such tool that we have is what is called as the black boxes. So the use of the black boxes dates back to back in the year 1950s where there were number of plane crashes and as a result investigators wanted to know what was the root cause of it. They wanted to understand the conclusive cause with respect to that particular accident and as a result they devised a device 
called as the black boxes. So an Australian scientist named as David Warren is often credited with this particular invention. The name says it is black boxes. Does it mean the color of this particular device is black? No, it is orange in color. Why is it orange? That is because in case there is an aircraft crash or there is an accident, it should be easy for the investigators to find out where is this device. So this is in orange color so that the investigators would be able to locate it. So remember the black box has the high visibility orange in color and it is not black in color. Initially when this project took off it did not have much of the memory because the data were recorded on wire or foil. Eventually they moved to the magnetic tape as well but the modern models contain solid state memory chips because they are very important devices. They are generally stored in strong substances made out of titanium and it is also insulated from extreme heat cold or even wetness as well. So remember when it comes to the black boxes there are two important components. One happens to be the cockpit voice recorder. The other happens to be the flight data recorder. What is it about the cockpit voice recorder? As the very name denotes it is cockpit voice recorder. This means this is present in the cockpit which means you have the pilots who will be speaking. All their interactions will be recorded by the CVR or the cockpit voice recorder and in case of an eventuality or an emergency or a crash in that case the CVR would be taken and they would get an idea as to what went wrong in the cockpit. So the cockpit will have all the information the pilots speaking to each other so this information will be taken out so that they could decipher what is this whole issue all about. Added to it we also have the flight data recorder. There are about different types of information such as altitude, airspeed, flight heading, vertical acceleration, autopilot status all present in the flight data recorder. This flight data recorder is usually located at the tail end of the aircraft. Why? Because whenever there is an eventuality or the crash it is the front part which gets disturbed the most and the tail part may not get disturbed that much in comparison. These black boxes also have underwater locator beacon as well that sends out the ultrasound signals for up to 30 days and we would be able to get these black boxes from under the water as well. So basically the black boxes are nothing but in case of an accident or an aircraft crash we would be able to find out for this box and try and understand what was the reason behind the crash so that in the near future we can take the corrective measures and ultimately prevent such crashes and the accident. It is this that we have to understand in reference to this article. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.